So today we're going to talk about security and specifically uh, video surveillance. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, Robert here again with A to Z Smart Home. Thanks for tuning in to the channel. Um, today I want to talk about smart home security and in specifics, uh, video surveillance. So I have the, most of my cameras on my home are either the Google outside camera, the Google doorbell. Um, the only one that's not a Google camera is the MyQ that's on the garage that I just recently put up, which is working great by the way. And all the cameras in my house work great. Um, the only issue I have, and I guess it's really not an issue, is really my poor planning and thinking I would get more time. The Nest indoor outdoor camera that's battery uh, works great. I have one on my back porch that I've been using for a long time. And I get probably two months, I would say, maybe a little more out of the battery before I have to plug it in and charge it. And it just charges in two, three hours. So when the camera at my wife's office need to be replaced, I put a battery camera in. Um, I put it in a location that I knew did not have a plug. And my intention was that I would get, you know, one to two months, then go over and charge it up for a couple hours and then put it back up. No problem. The problem is I didn't take into account truly how much traffic she gets in and out of her office. And I'm lucky if I get two weeks out of it. Um, so every two weeks I'm going over there, pulling it off the wall, charging it for two, three hours and then putting it back up, which is not hard, obviously, but it it's time consuming in a way that I don't shouldn't have to do that every two weeks. So, but that's more my fault than it is the camera's fault because it is battery operated. Now, I did have a brilliant idea of using one of the can lights that's in the ceiling that's really close to the camera and taking the bulb out and screwing in one of those um, plugs that you can convert a light bulb socket to a plug. Bought one, screwed it in, plugged it up, ran the cable, perfect. The only problem is the light doesn't work. The socket for the light is not functioning. None of the can lights work, and I didn't realize that. I thought the switch was just off. So I'm going to have to have somebody come out and figure out why those lights aren't working because every switch, every circuit breaker, everything in the office that controls lights are all on. So something's not right with that whole circuit there in the ceiling, um, which is really a bummer. Um, but it's either that or I got to move the camera. So I guess I have to decide, you know, you know, what's probably going to be the easiest to do. I, more than likely, the easiest thing is going to be to move it because I have other locations I can move it to where I could plug it in. Um, I just happen to like the angle where this camera is coming down and how it gets a nice view of her uh, waiting area and the reception area and the front door and the windows. Um, so I'll have to evaluate that. I guess the key thing is you want to make sure that you know the environment you're putting it in. I would definitely try to make sure if you're going to use a battery operated camera that that camera is close enough to an outlet to where you could just plug it up periodically without necessarily taking it down um, because that's going to be a lot more convenient. Um, the MyQ camera on the garage door um, has been up for, what, three weeks now? Maybe a little bit longer, and it's still at 77%. So again, I'm going to get probably a good 90 days out of that before I have to charge it, which is fine. I don't mind that at all. I'll probably buy an extra battery, charge the extra battery, and then just switch it out. That's going to be the easiest thing to do. Unfortunately, on the Nest camera, you can't do that. The battery is enclosed, and you have to actually charge the camera. I will say one thing I like about the Nest camera is when you remove it from the magnetic base, it turns the camera off because it knows it's not connected to the base. And that way you don't just get like these constant random alerts because you're moving the camera around, which is, I like that because I get enough alerts as it is. So at any rate, I'm going to put a link in the description below to the camera and that way you can go check it out. And if you do purchase from that link, 
it's an affiliate link and I will earn a small affiliate commission. So I appreciate that. Uh, kind of helps keep the channel rolling. But the camera is a fantastic camera. The video is great. The audio is great. Being able to configure it is super easy. And of course, if you are part of the Google ecosystem, it's seamless integration and it just works. Uh, so I highly recommend the camera. I just recommend that you make sure you have an easy way of charging it. So go check it out. Let me know what your thoughts are if you have any questions. And uh, once again, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up and a subscribe. We appreciate your support on the channel and we'll catch you next time.